rhubarb. You've got to love it. My mum and dad grew them in the garden when we was kids and uh, made rhubarb uh, crumble with it. The flavour was amazing because you got that almost that acidic sharpness and with the sugar you had the sweetness as well and with the crumble and the combination and the textures and the stringiness of course when rhubarb gets cooked it's such a marvellous plant. Now we think of it as being a fruit when it is in fact a vegetable. Now the Romans named it rhubarbarum. Now that meant the root of the barbarian because they always felt that it was barbarians that ate this plant um, and the name rhubarb came from that and it was unpopular because of the, the sour taste and it was only in the 18th century when sugar became cheaper and more available than, than rhubarb took off as a really popular popular dish. I mean I grew these from seed and for such a big plant there's such a very small seed and they germinated really quickly and then I've, I've planted them out and of course they just established themselves year in and year out and the, and the thing to remember with rhubarb is the redder the stem the sweeter the flavour. They're so easy to grow they like a little bit more well-drained soil they don't like sitting in water over winter months but they give so much it's this beautiful established uh, root system uh, when it all dies back it dies back we call it a crown uh, and then it erupts with these these beautiful beautiful stems that latterly turn red and you've got these huge leaves just at the top which are a perfect shape for the rain to land on and funnel back down all the way along the stem to rehydrate the root that's underneath. Now rhubarb is a really healthy thing to eat. It's full of antioxidants and one particular one is anthocyanins which is what gives it the red colour and that's particularly noted for fending off heart problems and cancer. It also has plenty of vitamin K which is really good for our blood and our bones, vitamin C which is good for our immune system and also fibre as well which is good for the digestive system. Probably in the similar amounts as an apple or an orange or even celery. It's very good for you. Now three parts of this plant, the roots, the stem and the leaves. The roots were in fact used in the Far East for medicinal purposes. Of course we eat the stems. Um, but the leaves themselves are slightly poisonous, they contain oxalic acid so you really don't want too much rhubarb about if you've got pets because you certainly don't want them eating the leaves. Now growing rhubarb couldn't be easier, you can propagate them from seed like I've done these ones here or you can buy them in pots and containers from your local garden centre and once planted in the ground it takes a little bit for them to get established and then they start producing their leaves uh, regularly year after year dying right the way down during the winter time. They prefer slightly sunny site as you can see these ones are in here and well drained soil as well but plenty of organic matter, farm your manure or leaf mould and the like goes really well to help these plants grow. The thing is early on in the year they start to throw out flowers and you want to cut those out because you want all the energy to go into the stems. I did that one the other day and just check on a regular basis that you've not got more flower spikes coming up and keep them hydrated don't let them dry out at all during the summer time. Now harvesting is easy all you've got to do is wait for the leaf to fully unfold um, usually find the stems of about 30 centimeters something similar to that um, if you've just planted them I wouldn't harvest too many in the first year let the plant use its leaves to create energy to develop a really good good root system and also if you are cropping a plant always leave some leaves on don't completely strip the whole plant out leave some leaves to be able to to feed the plant and to feed the root as well the secret is is get right down and pull as you can see it comes off quite easily at the base and look at that look at the color of that as the sun glints off it I love rhubarb in a crumble it's absolutely fantastic it's flavor and it's so very good for you as well and so easy to grow. Now some people force rhubarb and the term forcing is, is, is getting the plant to grow a lot earlier either in late winter or early spring by putting a, a container over the top of the crown and uh, effectively stopping any light from getting to the plant makes it start to grow a lot earlier and the stems have a tendency to be less sour in the flavour. Uh, it's a shame for me because I prefer the sour flavour with it but you know everybody's got different tastes. 
Um, there are varieties that are particularly good for this. There's a variety called Rhubarb Timphony Early. That's a great one to force, but you get a lot of earlier shoots from your rhubarb with a slightly different taste. But there you have it. It's such a lovely plant to grow. I like it because I think it looks good in the borders too. But in addition to that, it's got such a marvellous flavour. It's easy to grow and the health benefits are significant. If you've got a spot in your grow your own area, try a bit of rhubarb.